Hello. How do we solve this nice Olympiad maths problem with uh, t to the power of 3, the square root of t to the power of 3 equal to the square root of 3 to the power of 3? We are asked to find the value of t. Now recall that from a mathematical expression, if you have the square root of x, the square root of x can definitely be equal to x to the power of 1 divided by 2, right? So that means those square roots, we can definitely turn them to uh, a certain uh, variable or number, that is half. So that expression, if we do that, can give us t to the power of 3 all to the power of 1 divided by 2, and this will be equal to 3 to the power of 3 all to the power of 1 divided by 2. I've cleared out the whole uh, square root. Now, what do I do? Do you recall this law of indices that if you have a to the power of x multiplying the power of y, this can simply be equal to a to the power of x, y. And this can still be equal to a to the power of y multiplying the power of x, right? If you recall this, then I can simply make that expression to become t to the power of 1 divided by 2 all to the power of 3, right? And I'll bring this here to give me a 3 to the power of 1 divided by 2 all to the power of 3, right? And this will be equal to 0. Good. Now in the next step, I'm going to look at this expression half and then change it back to what it has used to be, and that is what? The square root of t all to the power of 3 minus the square root of 3 all to the power of 3. Now, do you see something happening as regard algebraic expression? Yes, this is absolutely an algebraic expression. Now, recall this algebraic expression if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this can simply be equal to uh, a minus b, right? And this would be what? a squared plus a multiplied by b plus b squared. Now, do you recall this? That is the expression we're going to use. Now, from this expression now, you're going to see that my a is now equal to the square root of t, and then my b is now equal to the square root of 3. Now, if we insert that into the expression, we're going to have that expression to become the square root of t minus the square root of 3, right? And on this side, we're going to have the square root of t all squared plus the square root of t multiplied by the square root of 3, right? Plus the square root of 3, or what? All squared, and all of these will be equal to 0. Now, from this expression, you see that square root will have to cancel out square, and square root here will have to cancel out square. So in the next step, we're going to have that expression to now give us the square root of t minus the square root of 3. And this will be what? t plus the square root of t multiplied by the square root of 3 plus 3. And all of these will be equal to 0. Now, in the next step, what do we do? We can simplify this further. If I simplify this further in the next step, I'm going to have this to give me the square root of t minus the square root of 3. And all of this will give me t plus the square root of 3t, right? Plus 3. And all of these will be equal to zero. Now having this as a zero product uh, uh, expression, we're going to separate this. Now if we separate this, I'm going to have the square root of t minus the square root of 3 to be equal to zero. 
on on the other hand i'm going to have t plus the square root of 3t plus 3 to be equal to 0. Now from here you can see that the square root of t can simply be equal to the square root of 3 if I have to subtract the square root of 3 from both sides. So from this expression you see that if I have to take the square of both sides I'll have t all squared equal to the square root of 3 or what all squared now square have to cancel out square root square cancel out square root the value of rt will be equal to 3 and that is the first solution to that expression given to us up there now how do we get the other values of t from this expression I can have this to become t plus 3 to be equal to negative square root of 3t. Right? Let them go on the other side. Now, if I take the square of both sides, I'm going to have t plus 3 all squared. To clear out that square root, I'll have this expression to give me negative square root of 3 t all squared. Now from this expression, I'm going to have my t plus 3 all squared to be equal to square, uh, negative square will give me positive, right? While square root will have to cancel out square root, uh, square, and then I'll have this to become 3 t. Now from this expression, what do we do from here? From this expression, I can simply expand this with t plus 3 square. That is going to give me t plus 3 square. If I expand it, I'll have t square, right? Plus 2t, remember algebraic expression, multiply by 3. And then I'll have what? The other one was squared. And this will be equal to 3t. So what do I have here? t squared plus 6t plus 9 will be equal to 3t. Now in the next step, if I simplify further, I'm going to have t squared with positive 6t minus 3t plus 9 being equal to 0. Now my t square plus my 3t, right, plus 9 will be equal to 0. This is a quadratic word expression. Now I can solve this quadratic expression to find the value of uh, t. Remember, this expression is like ax squared plus bs plus c equal to 0. Now, from this expression, you see that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and then c is equal to 9. So, what would the value of t be? t will be equal to, using our quadratic formula, b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Now, inserting the value of a, b, and c into the expression, we'll have our t to be equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 9 and all of these will be divided by 2 multiplied by 1. From this expression, I can have my t to be equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 9 is going to give us a 
9 minus uh, 4 multiplied by 9. Let me take it this way, divided by 2. Now, from this expression, you can see that 9 is what? 9 is common. So, I can take it this way. This will give me negative 3 plus common. It's going to give me the same thing. Square root of 9, which is common, bracket 1 minus what? Minus 4, right? And this will be what? Divided by, that will be divided by, that will be divided by 2 right so in that expression if i simplify that expression i'm going to have my t to be equal to negative 3 plus or minus uh, the square root of 9 multiplied by 3 right and negative what 3 that will give me a negative 3 that will be 9 multiplied by a negative 3 and all of these will be divided by 2 what do i do from here remember the negativity i can take it out right if i take out the negativity i'll have my t to be equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 9 multiplied by square root of 3 and then multiply by the square root of negative 1 and all of these will be divided by 2 then my t will be equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 3 is 3 multiplied by root 3 and then negative uh, 1 is j and all of these will be divided by 2. Now from that expression you can find out that our t will now be equal to simply negative 3 plus or minus 3 root 3 j and all of these will be divided by 2 and that is the solution to this math expression now from here we can see that we have the solutions as the first solution we have our t to be equal to recall that 3 right that's our t1 our t2 will now be equal to negative 3 plus 3 root what? 3j divided by 2 and then our t3 will be equal to negative 3 minus 3 root 3j divided by 2 one real number two imaginary number are the solution to that expression given to us up there so you see very easy i know you did enjoy watching this math solution don't forget to give it a thumbs up share with friends and colleagues and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified math content thanks so much for watching and bye bye for now